North Korea said Saturday it found the remains of a South Korean drone during a search in its capital, Pyongyang, claiming the drone proved the South's military was behind the alleged drone infiltrations over the city's skies earlier in the month. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff in a statement described the North Korean claim as unilateral and unworthy of responding. The North's official Korean Central News Agency released photos showing a seemingly damaged aircraft with wide, V-shaped wings and winglets. It said a joint investigation by North Korea's military and state security agencies concluded that the aircraft, which it said was found on October 13, was the same type of drone that appeared in a South Korean military parade earlier in October. North Korea accused South Korea of flying drones over the night skies of Pyongyang three different times this month to drop anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets. It threatened to respond with force if such flights occur again. The aircraft allegedly found in Pyongyang was likely one of the drones that were used to drop leaflets, North Korea's defense ministry said, but further examinations were needed to verify that. Should South Korea deny that the aircraft was used to drop leaflets, that would only confess to a separate infiltration of North Korea's airspace by the South's military, the ministry said. If North Korea confirms another violation of its territorial ground, airspace and waters by the South's military, that will be regarded as a declaration of war and an immediate retaliatory attack will be launched, the ministry added. South Korea's defense minister initially made a vague denial after the North's October 11 accusation that the South sent drones over Pyongyang. The South's military adjusted its response hours later, saying it couldn't confirm whether or not the North's claims were true. Tensions on the Korean peninsula are now at their worst in years as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ramps up his weapons tests and threats, and expands military cooperation with Russia, with South Korea claiming the North dispatched troops to support Russia's war against Ukraine. The animosity has been exacerbated by Cold War-style psychological warfare campaigns between the Koreas in recent months. Since May, North Korea has sent thousands of balloons carrying paper waste, plastic and other trash to drop on the South. The South's military has responded by using loudspeakers at the border to broadcast propaganda and K-pop to North Korea. North Korea is extremely sensitive to any outside criticism of Kim's authoritarian government and his family's dynastic rule. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un reminded his troops to treat South Korea as a hostile foreign enemy and insisted that the North wouldn't hesitate to attack its rival if the South infringes upon its sovereignty, state media said Friday. Kim's comments at an army headquarters came after North Korea this week confirmed that it revised its constitution to define South Korea as a hostile state and blew up frontline road and rail links that were once connected to the South. The steps punctuated Kim's calls for North Korea to abandon its long-standing goals of reconciling with the South and reflect his intent to escalate tensions and increase leverage amid a deepening stalemate in diplomacy. Analysts see increasing risks of possible clashes along the rival's tense border areas, although it would be highly unlikely for the North to contemplate full-scale attacks in the face of superior US and South Korean forces. During a visit to the headquarters of the North Korean People's Army's 2nd Corps on Thursday, Kim stressed to troops the importance of understanding that any use of offensive force against the South would constitute a legitimate retaliatory action against the hostile country, not the fellow countrymen. He said the North's detonation of the border road and rail sections on Tuesday demonstrated the North's resolve to cut off persistent, evil, relations with the South which lasted century after century and the complete removal of the useless awareness about fellow countrymen and unreasonable idea of reunification. He said the event was also a declaration that his troops wouldn't hesitate to use physical force against the South, an apparent hostile country, if it violates North Korea's sovereignty, the North's official Korean Central News Agency said. South Korea had no immediate comment on Kim's remarks. North Korea has been making increasingly provocative threats against rival South Korea in recent weeks, including accusing the South of infiltrating drones to drop anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets over Pyongyang this month and threatening to attack if it happens again. 
South Korea has refused to confirm whether it sent drones but warned that North Korea will face an overwhelming response that would end its regime if the safety of South Korean citizens is threatened. Tensions on the Korean peninsula have spiked since 2022, as Kim used Russia's war on Ukraine as a window to dial up his weapons testing activities and threats. Washington, Seoul and Tokyo have strengthened their combined military exercises in response and took steps to sharpen their nuclear deterrence strategies built around strategic U.S. assets.